Impact is the only universal right. thing. It gives me the willies when I see other instructors, oh, you know, here's where Ernie Els is here, or here's where Adam Scott is here, and I'm, you know, yeah. you know, I, I don't believe in doing that. I like, I like putting so you're people. You're not so much doing the the two by when you're doing the instruction the, the the two by two. Okay, Charles Schwartz is over here and you're here. No, no. You know why can't you be more like him? No, no, I He's never. Been the, golfing since he was one year old. The only time I put a tour player, and this is another issue. The only time I put a tour player next to an amateur golfer on a side by side is when they're like, my, "I'm too quick. My backswing is this. My tempo's too fast," and I'm like, "No, it's not." Or I'm telling them, your tempo is way too slow. Yeah. Okay? And they're like, well, no, it's not. I've gotten a nice smooth tempo. I'm like, it's too smooth. So tempo is the only time you do this side by side. Only Just time. Just for timing. So okay. you're done with their swing and you're still right. making I'll, a back swing. I'm like, yeah. do you think Ernie Els has a slow tempo? Oh, yeah, big easy. He's slow. He's smooth. Great. Put them next to Ernie Els. He's making impact before they're done with their back swing. But all the tour players, they're swinging in less than a second, and all right. the hacks are swinging in over two seconds. He, he, and, and again, tour players are notoriously awful people to listen to about how to pr pr you know, improve your golf game. And everybody watching this is going, okay, this guy's nuts, I'm turning it off. Right. Way over 95% of the time, tour players are not telling you right and wrong. They're telling you what works for them. Yeah. And what works for them is very likely not going to work for you. Here's a perfect example. Johnny Miller, within the last six months, eight months, was during the tele telecast said, you know, obviously he's one of the greatest iron players of all time, hit it as good as anybody, yeah. as well as anybody, nice English. So if he says something, people are gonna listen. So I got in a huge argument on the internet over this about, you know, Miller's a great player, he's very entertaining as an announcer. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of his swing tips. Well, Monty, how many majors do you have? Exactly. That's what you hear. That's exactly right. right. And I say, this is not about playing golf. Yeah. Here's, here was the argument, that the, 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 the argument I made. Miller said, in order to compress an iron properly, you need to get your sternum and your chest forward and cover the I ball. I saw that tip. Okay. This way. Okay. And I went off. Yeah, I don't like that one. I went berserk. And everyone's like, you're an idiot. How can you say Johnny Miller's wrong, blah, blah, blah. And here was my response. I posted a picture of him hitting an iron shot while he was winning the U.S. Open at Oakmont, and he's like this. Yeah. Okay? So, in his mind... Crazy bow, crazy back here. Right. Yeah. In his mind, he probably felt like he was getting his... But his feel was wrong in, in a sense that he was getting his arms forward, not his chest forward. Right. So, when he's Because for a tour player that may have gotten good, always feeling like this, he might feel like this, but, but he's nothing like not it. doing it. He's nothing yeah. like it. And one of his famous ones is pull the butt of the yeah. club into the wall in front of you. Here, you pull it like this. Right. Because every because he's thinking everybody's doing this. Right. You How can we get people? Because this, if I could get like this, that's a ten thousand dollar move for me. Right. I would pay ten thousand dollars right now to Right. Get but you tell. That. If I walked into a room of a hundred random golfers from zeros to twenty fives. If I went in that room and I said, I want you guys to all go out and hit balls for the next three hours, and all I want you to do is try to pull the button of the yeah. wall in front of you, upwards of 70, I, I, I've, I, I've seen it done before. You know, because I, I came out here one day, this is no joke, I came out here one day after Johnny Miller said that on the telecast. Yeah. And I saw up and down the range, 10 or 15 people practicing it, okay? Yeah. I saw, well over 50% shank, shank rate. It's so funny you say that because as a golfing machine person that has uh, used that for a long time, and I really respect it and like it even still, I am obsessed with keeping this angle, <coughs> right. getting this, and the better I hit it, the closer I get to keeping that angle, see, I get the shank. shank. And then I have to back away from it. Right. There's no question in my mind he is honestly telling what he thinks is right and what's going to help the people on TV but Johnny Miller is not an instructor. He's not out, you know, on the range six, eight hours a day for years giving lessons. So he doesn't see the results of these things. Yeah. Let me ask you this, because now that we're talking again about my, my pet uh, peeve, my, 
obsession in, in the golf swing, which is probably, like you said, something that you shouldn't be chasing so much. But I have, uh, I was a golf tech for a, a while. I didn't take lessons there, but I, I just, I was on the practice plan. So I saw a lot of swings in yes. like three months, yes. slow motion. If you're talking about seven irons, 100 yard seven irons, I could hit a 100 yard seven iron that looked like a Charles Schwartzel swing or a, right. or a Adam Scott swing. Right. These positions I was getting right. were so good. Right. And loving it as soon as i tried to start adding speed start okay let me make this my normal swing i'm back to right. old brendan where i'm i'm looking right. like an embarrassment to myself right and, this and i'm is, taking it way too personally too yeah, absolutely yeah. it's all about sequence right. it, it doesn't matter who the golfer is it you know the best you go to a pga tour event i've been uh, 30 or 40 of them the last three years you see 150 golfers you see 150 swings yeah. Okay. Big deal being yeah. made about Jordan Spieth and his chicken wing. Yeah. Okay. Dustin Johnson and his bowed left wrist. Yeah. Jim Furyk and his octopus falling out of a tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Their swings match. That, that, that end of story. Their swings yeah. match. When you are trying to force a manipulated move and a manipulated position somewhere in the downswing, you are ruining your sequence and you are taking away the dynamic move of your swing. So all of the ring the bell, hold the lag, hold the angle, right. all of those things, they change the sequence of your golf swing. When you're just trying to hit it 100 yards, it's easy to sequence when you're not hitting it that hard. Right. That's why people say, well, I'm just gonna hit it easy and they hit it better. Not swinging hard is not the issue. It's, and this is what I'm big on, you search out the cause, not the effect. Okay. Okay. Have right. seen this is this is what I want to get to. That's the effect. That's right. what I'm searching for. You can't just say, oh, I'm gonna do this. You are right. doing something in your full swing that is precluding you from getting to that position. Right. You fix that, you get there. So you, so when I'm saying what's the missing link between being able to do something in slow motion or m m not even slow motion, but less motion. Right. So say, in, say a 60, whatever it is, 60 mile an hour, seven iron swing, to be able to do that in 105 mile an hour or, or 90 mile an hour, seven iron swing, what's the missing link that gets people to be able to do it at full speed on the golf course? That's the $100,000 question, the million dollar question. Right. For each individual, it's different. Be different. That's yeah. why I have 100 YouTube videos. Here's yeah. a perfect example. The zipper away drill, the lead with the right elbow. Yeah the no turn cast drill. Okay, the move the right hip away from the golf ball. Okay, mm -hmm. the get the arms out in front of the body. All of those things, they sound completely different. It's the same thing. Here's the biggest thing that I see that affects good golfers. Okay, not your 15s, 18s, 20s, 25s. Those, are, there's usually a major fault. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mid to high handicappers. I'm talking the scratches, the threes, the fives, up to the eights and tens. A huge, huge misunderstanding about how the swing works. Yeah. Okay. The big pet peeve that I have with golf instruction is it's not so much teaching people what's right is as much as it's the opposite of bad. You see people doing this, What's oh, you, you gotta hold the angle, okay. okay? You see people over rotate, oh, well, you gotta restrict your hip turn, Right. okay? Yeah. Wrong, yeah. both of those are wrong, all right? So don't concentrate on all these things to fix what's bad, concentrate on what do you wanna do. Right, so like the, 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 big, the big thing that people all do when they begin is they come over the top, yes. so, you know, the opposite of bad is swing to right field, and then I get people coming in there, and they're, you know, going like this, and they got big hooks. You got a guy aiming left, all right? Yeah. Do you teach him to aim correctly, or do you say, oh, just feel like you're aiming too far right? You teach him to aim correctly, yeah. because if you say, just feel like you're aiming too far right, six months from now, he's gonna be like this. Well. That is so true when it comes to golf instructions for me, because somebody will give me a, a lesson or a tip or something else that is, for example, like, okay, I start hitting the ball really good with an open stance. Right. I think, well, man, if I open my stance like this, I'm going to be on tour. Right. So you, you start over overdoing it, and now you're always on this balance of 
of, oh, exactly. oh no, now I'm shanking it. No, right. let me try this. Right. And you're never making any progress. You're, you're in a circle of, and that's really killing not only just me personally, but I think a lot is a lot, making a lot of people leave the game. Before I move on to this misunderstanding that I was saying among better golfers, the best tip that I give everybody, and this is better than any instructional tip, any mechanical tip I give everybody. The biggest mistake that amateur golfers make is they adjust after every bad shot. Oh, I hit that to the right, I need to roll my wrist a little more. Yeah. Oh, that ball went too high, I need to hit down on it more. Yeah. Oh, I hit behind that one, I better get a little bit more. All of a sudden, you got 40 different swings you've used in the course of a round. Yeah. As a golfer, even the elite golfers in the world, until you hit the same bad shot, two, three, four, five, seven times in a row, it's a bad shot. You just need to flush it. Flush it. Yeah. Just try to do better on the next one. If you're adjusting after every one, you're using different, so. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more compelling golf content.